Hi guys, I'm gonna talk about the Wi-Fi problem again. Okay, so many people posted the first method worked and some of you posted it didn't work. So this video for the one which didn't work. Basically, as you can see, my Wi-Fi doesn't work and when you go to click that and it's saying no connections are available. Then when I go to setting then go change PNC setting and when I go to wireless where's it? yep and as you can see it says no wireless can devices available there should be a toggle with on and off but it's not there so what you have to do is now go to search and type device manager as soon as you type DEVI, then click setting and click device manager. Now, as you can see, my is Qualcomm Athos AR5 etc. wireless network adapter, which give you small triangle right there. That means there's something wrong with it. So what you can do is, if you, you have to connect to this. Go. You had to connect through the wired, for example, this adapter there through wire and go to Google. Now I know how to fix my, so let me just quickly fix it. As you can see, my is fixed. So what you have to do is go to Google. and type that driver name you found in your device manager for example this is a, a author blah 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 so basically you copy that and paste it in google so let me type in the AR5897 and type drive driver for Windows 8 okay and now enter then go and download it but here this is my drive but you put your drive name in it download it after you download it you should get when you right click my is not je uh, the yellow triangle there's no more over here because I fixed it but now you can you should have uh, the yellow thing on it then click update driver software try to do it search automatic thing if that doesn't work then click browse my computer for driver software then click let me pick the list of driver f drivers on my computer as you can see I downloaded three different drivers to check which one worked these two didn't work only this one worked so you have to try with the different different drivers to see if they are worked so click that and click next and you say Windows has successfully updated your driver I'll show you again update browse my computer let me pick from the list if I select these two it will give me an error message should windows account a problem for installing driver for so that mean something wrong with it is not the right driver so you have to do it again as you can see it came back to my original which was came with the computer now right click and update it to the normal one which works for you Okay, this is only the temporary solution, but sometimes it doesn't it's come back to normal. For example, when your computer goes to sleep, when you turn on your computer back again, it will go back to normal. So you have to do it again, and so don't delete that driver. <laughs> okay. If you don't understand, then you have to watch the previous video. It should be in the description bar right there. So check out that video first before you watch the video. But I'm telling that at the end anyway. If you have any question, try to post.
uh, in the comment section I will try to uh, do my best to answer it so watch the both video thank you and subscribe my channel